Welcome back to Holder Flat. So this is it, round nine, the NI Summer Series 2023 finale. <laughs> Nearly 100 entries were received for the day one of the series closer here at the Nuts Corner Circuit, of which there are a whole host of two-wheel drive and modifieds, 18 juniors, a rake of rallycross cars, a world rally car, and some interesting entries in the four R5 cars. Young Callum Graffin makes his R5 debut alongside his father Kieran in the stunning KG Motorsport Fiesta. And Paul Flanagan makes a wee step up from an 8-valve Escort to a newly acquired R5 Fiesta. Let's get to the business end then, on stage one. And it's the WRC Fiesta, driven in the past by names such as Oit Tanak, Elvin Evans and Henning Solberg, but now in the very capable hands of Donegal's Aaron McLaughlin, that sets the fastest time over the first test. And here's a pleasant surprise. Paul Flanagan goes second fastest on his first stage in his new car. He's 6.4 seconds back behind McLaughlin. Just half a second further back in third is Kieran Graffin in the KGMotorsport.com Fiesta R5. Fourth fastest and really on a charge is the rear wheel drive 205 of Barry the Dozer McArdle. He's just half a second off the R5 car ahead. And we have a tie break for fifth, as both Stefan McClelland in the Starlet and Stephen Smith in the Mini go just 0.1 of a second slower than McArdle.
gap of 14.7 seconds over the chasing pack. But here's a surprise, it's Stephen Smith's rapid little B16 Honda powered mini that is McLaughlin's closest challenger. Stephen McClelland has lost some ground to Smith's mini, 6.6 seconds to be exact, but he will be happy in third overall and with the Class 7 lead. Kieran Graffin has slipped one spot to fourth and sits 1.1 seconds behind the McClelland Starlet. Barry McArdle's 205 is now fifth overall and second in Class 7. And John Callum Graffin has the R5 car already figured out and is on a charge up the leaderboard in 6th.
fantastic day's racing here at the Nuts Corner Circuit. It's time for the final results. And we start with the Class 1 Juniors in third place is a brilliant result for young James Kelly. Second place goes to Jake Miller. But it's County Calvin's Kyle Drury who takes the junior win by 19 and a half seconds. To class 2 and Ian McMullen takes third place. How about this? Morris Phillips takes second place whilst finishing on an identical time with class winner Ed Davis. But Ed takes the class win with the fastest stage time on the final stage. Class 3, Jerry Woods takes third place. Ryan Gervin has to settle for second place, just 1.1 seconds behind the winner, Amy Coulter. Class 4, Lydia Grant has a great run to third. Second place goes the way of Jared Chute. But it's Danny Reid who takes another win in Class 4. Class 5, and it's great to see Ryan Fleming back out. He takes third. Second place goes to the Civic of Lee McLaughlin. But it's a stormer from Stephen Smith as he wins the class by over 56 seconds. The 8 ball class 6, and David Christie comes home in third. Second place goes to Josh Bradley. Jonathan Strain overcomes some late dramas to take the Class 6 victory. <laughs> Onto the well represented Class 7 and Barry McCardle has to settle for third. Second place goes to Stephen McClelland. But it's Mark Graham who ends up victorious in Class 7. Onto Class 9 and Adrian Grant takes third. Rear wheel drive 205 with Jay Nevin comes home in second. It's Balamina's Eugene Clark and his beautifully prepared Mark II who takes the Class 9 win. Now onto the turbo stuff and Johnny Hawthorne takes third place. Ian Hunter's Astra VXR comes home in second. But it's Brian Haddock who takes the Class 10 victory today. Finally, the R5 and WRCs, and Kieran Graffin has to settle for third place behind Son Callum, who has a fantastic run to take second. But it was another stunning performance from Aaron McLaughlin in that beautiful Fiesta WRC as he takes the Class 11 win. And here is the final classifications after seven stages with two drop stage times. Aaron McLaughlin takes the win. Stephen Smith's little mini comes in second, with Callum Graffin taking a podium on his R5 debut. So that's it for another wonderful day's competition here at the Nuts Corner Circuit. Join us next time for part two with the Buggies, MX5s and Mini Cups finish up their summer series and also Rally Legend footage coming soon. Until next time, hold her flat.